Diahuit Dina. I think that's how you say it. Or in other words, hello people, and welcome back to that thing that I do with my with my voice and my video games, where where I where I talk and I play the video games, and you guys watch and you sit and you listen and you you the the thing you like, you know. Welcome back to Let's Live Disgaea, and boy, do I have a lot of things to talk about. But first of all, I heard about the assassin. Congratulations! Assassination attempts mean that you're a full-fledged demon. Am I supposed to be happy? If you're a demon, yeah, you should. Prince, have, have you visited the Dark Assembly? You need to milk the system for all it's worth to have an edge in battle. Now is not the time. Well, actually, we will be probably be going there in a little bit. But um, last time I mentioned that we actually hit the, all the switches, I think, in the third episode. Which means that we can go here! Prince, I'm going to the bathroom, okay? And we can check out Etna's secret diary. So let's do it. Speak in her diary. My memory. This is my secret chamber. Only now I know how to get in here. This is where my most precious memories were locked away. That I remember, but I can't remember what they were. When I- or that I remember. When I try to remember, my heart aches. This pain is proof of how dear those memories are to me. I have to get them back. And feelings of guilt. Hello there, Kark. A certain demon stole my memories. There's something he wants me to do in exchange. I'd do just about anything to get my memories back, but would the king forgive me? That's my only fear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a demon. You shouldn't have guilt. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Um, alright. Enough of that. So... How should I put this? Hmm. Well, let me put it this way first. You should probably turn down your volume a little. And let me secondly put it this way. I'm done! Okay, that wasn't really that loud because I don't want everybody in my house hearing it. But I am done for the year. I am done with all my finals. I just uh, finished my last final today. If you're looking for the assassin, I saw her work by here. I think she used the dimensional bit gate to escape. If you saw this, why didn't you chase after her? That would require an effort on my part. But yes, I, I got up at 5 a.m. to go to my 8 a.m. final today in romantic British literature. And let's just go to the dimensional gatekeeper already. Ah, Prince, an unfamiliar girl was just here to use the dimensional gate. Where'd she go? She wanted to go someplace where nobody could find her, so I sent her to the frozen river. Um, doesn't revealing that information defeat the entire purpose of her escaping? And thank God. Oh, before we go, I forgot. We need to heal up, I think. Can't remember whether... Okay, we do heal between chapters. I just couldn't remember. Alright, Frozen River! Forsaken Land. <laughs> land. Land. But yeah, this is actually the point we're gonna, where we're gonna start seeing a few less cutscenes. Um, so hopefully these go by quicker. So, Q speeding up, one, two, three, go. Um, by the way, I'm actually going to speed this up a little less than I did last time because I noticed that I kind of sped it up a little too much so it al you can almost really not understand what I was saying. So, um, but you know what, I'm, I'm new to this speeding up thing because for the longest time my pinnacle wouldn't work with speeding up. But anyway, back to the business at hand. I got up at 5 today, let me tell you, getting up that early, after the original, oh my god, what am I doing awake at 5, kill me now, feeling, it's great, it's, oh my god, there's so much free time that I had today, like, I'm recording this at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, that's crazy, usually I wait until like 10 at night to, get to record, I mean, I've been up since 5, so I've been up 8 hours already, so I'm pumped, I'm, I'm at the point where I usually am at 10 o'clock at night, I'm ready, yeah, hurricane slash that, zombie, um, but no, it was just, it's just good to have romantic literature out of the way. Because you know what? I got a B on my second paper rewrite, I got an A on my third paper, and I think I did pretty well on the final, so I'm probably going to get a high B or an A in that class, which is really good, because it's the last, one of the last only writing classes I have to take. And the guy, the guy was tough. The, guy, the professor that I had in that class, he was tough. But he was fair. So, I can't really fault him for that. Yeah, trip straight. Um, ooh. Oh, you're a level 6. Of course you're not going to get a level up. Uh, how are the prunies doing? You're level 4, you're level 5. Alright, we're gonna actually do a little priny leveling. Alright, 
Yeah, dude. Um, but no, I mean, I, I already know I'm doing very well in my Oscar Wilde class. I got an A on the one paper we had to write for it, and as far as the exam goes, I argued my stuff persuasively, which is really all that she asks for. Um, <laughs> I, I, I argued the one of the things that I want to actually um, consider for my grad paper, so... I've been talking with her about it, my professor about it, all semester, so she already knows exactly where I'm going with this, so I'm pretty sure I did very well on that. And Young Adult Lit, I don't care, I'm just glad to be done with that class, because it was a fun class, not a fun teacher. So, do I be out of that? And Irish, Irish. Oh, Irish is awesome. Oh, I'm, I'm going for a second semester of Irish, and I'm going for the third and fourth semester that I have to do to get my degree. And... Let me, again, let me tell you, it is awesome, because I met my instructor on Tuesday in the student union, and he's like, oh yeah, you did fine on the final, you're, you're, you're good, so. Oh, it's just so good. It's just so good to be done. Like, I, I, I know there's a lot of you that are still in high school that watch my videos, like, I know, you have, I know you have finals in high school, but it's not the same amount of stress that you do, uh, that you have with them in, in college. It's just... Once you experience that, you're just, it's going to be so, such a relief to be done with it. Especially because it's my first semester as an English major, so. Oh, what else? Oh, and just the best thing is happening tomorrow, because we have, my friends and I, we do this um, Halloween, or, well, not Halloween, we do this um, holiday get-together every year. Last year it was Ironica. You know, before it was, um, before um, everybody who had anything to do with irony was considered a hipster. <laughs> um, you know, when it was okay to be ironic. <laughs> what am I talking about? Um, but no, uh, this year we have The Nightmare Before Christmas, so, uh, we are doing pretty much, we, we're pretty much having a Halloween Christmas get-together, which is gonna be really fun. Oh, I love you, Blazing Knuckle. You're gonna be so helpful later on when we come up across people with more fire weaknesses. Oh, you're gonna be really helpful now, because they both have fire weaknesses. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, the, and thing is, it's gonna be it's it's pretty much like a costume party Halloween thing, because Halloween. Um, so everybody has to dress up as something. Oh really, really, you're out of mana. All right, I think we can actually maybe get you some mana. Can we reach you? Yes. Okay, we should be good. No. Shoot. All right, I got another idea. Let's do. Oh wait, can you move up there? I can't see because the brightness is a little off on my computer. Because again, I'm, I'm recording this on my computer because I have my the PS2s up, at, up in my room, not downstairs. Okay, we can do that. All right, because I want to take these guys out now with one hit. So we're gonna use another dried worm on Waharl. Take him out with a blazing knuckle. But um, so we have we have all the best things of both Christmas and uh, Halloween tomorrow, and I just have the best costume I've ever thought of. I'm going in. Um, for any of you that have watched uh, Danny Phantom. You're gonna love this. I am going as the box ghost. You know, I am the box ghost. Beware! And the best part about that is that tomorrow, tomorrow morning, I get to dress up as him. And if you know who he is, or if you just look up his picture, um, this guy is a blue ghost. So I have to dye my skin blue. Now, how do I? How am I gonna do that? You ask. <laughs> this is where it gets fun. Um, I am actually going to be doing that by basically filling a bathtub with co blue Kool-Aid um, powder and water and my body will be the spoon. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm basically going to soak myself in Kool-Aid in order to dye my skin blue because it washes out in a few days. Oh, I'll shut up for the cutscene. There she is. What? She's the assassin? I know, right? I was expecting somebody a little more menacing. A oh. little less annoying. Just shut up and capture her. Hi, hi, dude. Like you guys really don't know how annoying she gets. Prima pretty Prepanica. What does that even mean? So you're an angel, and you're summoning zombies. How does that make sense? Angelic language? Summoning zombies. Prince, she must be from Celestia. Makes no difference to me. Angel.
angel or god, anyone who opposes me will suffer a terrifying death. Yeah. <laughs> Say your prayers. Oh, I wanted to laugh. Please don't push yourselves too hard. You guys can run if it gets dangerous. Except there's no retreat command in the game, so. Don't let her escape. <laughs> we'll teach her a lesson. Yes, I will teach her that. I'll teach her mathletes. <laughs> Reveal yourself. Oh, it is you. Please do not startle me like that. So, how are things progressing? Well, I cannot say they have gone perfectly, but there is nothing to be concerned about. I see. Forgive me for putting such a heavy burden on you. Please, it was my idea to begin with. By the way, how is the girl doing? Has she managed to meet Laharl safely? I would not use the word safely, but she is managing in her own way. It's like Spock and Kirk here. <laughs> you have a lot of faith in her. Yes, just as you have faith in him. But we'll find out who that is later. Um, but to con continue on with the Nightmare Before Christmas thing that we're having tomorrow. Ooh, do you guys have fire... Yes, you do. Oh, excuse me. Um, you know, we really do want to level up Laharl just because he is going to end up being our strongest character. Like he's going to be our fallback for a lot of a lot of levels where everybody just ends up getting trashed after a while. Um, Etna never really. Etna's okay, but she never really. She's never really going to shine. And you guys are actually going to be come pretty useful because Prinnies are hard to level up, but I don't know. It's it always seems like the characters they morph into are always stronger. So um, I'm actually going to send you over here to deal with these guys. You know, protect our flank. Um, but anyway, get, getting back to Nightmare Before Christmas. It's great also because I've just got so many great gifts for everybody this this year, and it's awesome. Like, uh, I think I already mentioned it once before. Uh, my friend, one of my friends, is huge into the Big Bang Theory. <gasps> That's right. We've got uh, Prinny Raid. This one's a fun one, actually. I'm just gonna Drop show you guys. Dead. <laughs> <laughs> O only you. Only you, Disgaea. Um, but no, she's really into Big Bang Theory. So what I ended up getting her for Christmas is I got her a cardboard cutout of one of the main characters, Howard Wallace. <laughs> and apparently she's got like a kind, a kind of a crush on him, so it'll go over well. At least Alex Girl Fru. Alex Girl Fru assures me that it will. Um. And I mean, if I can't trust her judgment, who's who's can I? Oh, my one of my best friends from home. Um, I almost said his name. I can't do that. Is getting what I think is the best thing ever. Uh, he is actually getting a eleven by seventeen inch print image of T.R. Teddy Roosevelt holding a. I think it's an M60 machine gun in one arm, while bracing himself with a full American flag on the stand and fighting a grizzly bear while a forest <laughs> blazes in the background. Now I know you, like uh, Harry and Tyrell, you're gonna both gonna be like, "Oh yeah, signifies everything about America: shooting, shooting animals, burning forests, everything like that." But you know what? It's a pretty fucking cool picture so I don't care <laughs> um oh wait no get back here get back here Amanda um what else am I getting people oh another one of my friends is really into D&D &D. like he really likes to DM I guess I don't know I never really got into D&D &D as much as he did but um, what I'm getting him is a D20 with 
Sorry, I just want to check my recording quickly. Okay, that's fine. Um, just need to make sure that the frames aren't dropping or anything. I'm getting a D20 that's almost half a foot in diameter. Yeah, I think it's like I think it's like half a foot in diameter. It might be like eight inches or something in diameter, but um, what's cool about this is that it's not just a D20, but it's also a Magic Eight Ball. But instead of having the regular Magic Eight Ball things, like it has yes and no and stuff like that, but it also has stuff like plus one to Fort Save and stuff like that. <laughs> And I think he's gonna get a real kick out of it. I also actually found like this is a, this is a more personal gift. It's not really a Christmas gift or anything. But we were at we were Alex Girlfu and I were just going through the dollar store when we were out shopping for people's presents, and I found teen uh, they're like baby Teen Titans coloring books. They're the, the most ridiculous and adorable things, and I think he's gonna get a huge kick out of them. Um, not for, like, there being coloring books or anything, <laughs> of course, but just because the fact that, first of all, Teen Titans is, that is amazing, but second of all, because it's just, it's actually really well done, like, all, the artwork's really nice and everything in the coloring books, like, it's, it's almost like how Muppet Babies were the Muppets, but just done in a really cutesy style. So I think he's I think he's really gonna like it. Uh, let's see. No, get, 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 get over there. No, not there. Shame I have to play on a computer, but oh well. Uh, there's something else, but I can't. I can never. It feels like I say one thing, then I forget half the other things. Maybe? Come on, Laharl, you can do it. You can attack with her. I'm gonna get it, it just in case. Because I, I really want Sam to level up to something else. Um, what else am I doing? Oh yeah, my other friend, um... I don't know if any of you read the webcomic, Questionable Content, but I know she used to be into that. I don't know if she's still into it. But what I have is actually a an 11 by 26 inch print of one of the pictures they put out um, of Hannah Roar um, beer sledding with a beer in her hand and sledding down a hill on a lunch tray. And I've got it signed by the author, so that'll be really cool, too. Wait a minute, we're only at 20 minutes? I can do another level! Hell yeah! I think we're good, too. I'm just gonna save quick, because I don't want to get a game over. So... I'm actually gonna save on a new file, because the last time I was stupid and saved on the same one, so if this recording went sour... That's a hit. <laughs> I'd be stuck with a save file that I can't change. Eternal Winter. I'll shut up for the cutscene. How persistent! Are all demons like this? I have no other choice. I'll have to use a sleep spell. Nighty night. Oh no, you don't. Yeah, that's it. Now saving the day. Friar, fighter, prepper, oh god, don't tell me you're using named attacks Please now. Burn that girl to the ground. Fairy barrier balladier. Oh. God, alliteration. Whoa. Ow. <laughs> Trust me, this gets much funnier than just plain slapstick. My hair! Now you've done it! I had my hair just how I wanted it! This is unforgivable! <laughs> Feel the wrath of the hall! Come on, laugh! Ah, oh, I wanna laugh! Oh, so I actually have to explain this level. 
um, because this is actually a very special level. We're going to be coming back here, uh, well, I'm going to be coming back here a lot, because this pretty much stays the same after we beat it the first time with these three guys down there. These three guys up, oh, only two guys up here, and then these six guys up down here. And it just becomes a really useful level for, um, for grinding for levels early on. So I'm going to be spending a lot of time here. Go. Especially after this chapter is done. Um... Roger! I think that's really it for what's happening with... Uh, I almost said Winter Enemus. That's another thing entirely with, uh... Nightmare Before Christmas. But what should I talk about? I should tell you guys what I'm planning on doing this this break, actually, because I have an entire month of break, which means I have a couple of projects that I want to start and get you know, get them started and start spearheading an effort to get them along. Far enough along that I don't have to really work on them that hard while I'm back at school. Um, one of these is something that I alluded to before that some of you are going to hate me for it. Some of you are going to think it's hilarious how much the, the rest of you hate me for it. <laughs> um, I can't tell you what it is because that would ruin the surprise and then you'd all just be like groan and not watch it. Um, the other... The other project that I want to do... I'm, I'm debating whether I should actually tell you guys, because I kind of want it to be a secret, but I kind of don't. Uh... See, here's the other thing. Um... See, I kind of want it to be a surprise. But at the same time, I also I, I want to tell you guys so bad, because I'm really excited about it. Like, This is big for me. Um, I think it's big. I, well, again, like I said, it's big for me. Like, this is something that I've never done before. Um, well, two things. And just talking about it in vague... ...references like this doesn't really help. <laughs> um, alright, I, I, I'm gonna have to leave it for when I actually start it. Just because I, I don't want to I don't want to ruin it. it. This is this is gonna be really special, this project, and I don't want to ruin it. But let's just say that what's going to happen is that this is going to be, except for the first couple of episodes, this is going to be a 100% post commentary let's play, and you'll see why. There's no other way that I could that I would be able to do it, not realistically at least. And what I would like for what I hope for, um, for each episode, is actually to, um, to be able to get a co-commentator on board, and, well, we'll go through an episode, um, they'll give their thoughts and whatnot for the episode, and we'll have a grand old time. <laughs> Especially once I do start it and start telling you guys what it is. I think you I think you guys will all really appreciate it. That being said though, um, as far as who the guest commentators are, there's a couple of people who will have priority. Um, namely people that I do talk to quite a bit. Um, also, there's someone who's going to get quite a bit of... of um, priority for a certain reason that hinges on what game it is. <laughs> Again, I hate I hate being so vague, but there's no other way to do it. Because you guys you guys are gonna like that I didn't spoil it at the same time, so No, no no, I don't wanna attack myself. <laughs> Thought I put you down here. But other than that, um, I'm gonna be showing Showing I'm going to be watching 
Empire Strikes Back with OX Girl Tour because I've shown her the original um, A New Hope. And she was like, eh, that's not that great. But, I mean, Empire Strikes Back. Best Star Wars movie. I think so. So. If she doesn't like that... I don't know what to say. Oh, I'll have to... I'm gonna still show her Return of the Jedi just because... You, you can't... You can't just stop the... You can't just stop the trilogy halfway through and... You gotta watch Jedi. You, you can't just... You can't do it. It's just, it's just not done. <laughs> um... No, that'll be fun. I'm also gonna be watching a few anime over the break, which now I'm actually the president of Yukon's Anime Club, so I have to. <laughs> um, uh, that's gonna be fun. No, I'm kidding. It is gonna be fun because I'm actually gonna be watching uh, what's it called, uh, Steins Gate, which I love that anime. Like I, w I was expecting not to like that anime at all because it just sounds really cheesy and corny kind of humor, but it's. It's just really good. It's like a mix between, um... I had an idea for what it was like earlier. It's a mix between Back to the Future and Groundhog Day. Because it's got the whole idea that you can go back in time and change things so that they're better or worse, and that depending on what you do in the past, um things might disappear, but at the same time it's also got the idea that if someone needs to die, they can't, you can't save them. I think that's Groundhog Day. I don't know. If, I haven't watched that movie in forever. I can barely remember any of it. Might be another movie I'm thinking of. Um, Like, you can't change it even if you relive the same day a hundred times, if they're meant to die. Um... Let's say um 5,000 more times. It's because I'm trying to think at the same time. Because I had something planned out, but you guys know me. I don't actually plan out what I'm going to say because it, it's less genuine. I don't like doing it. Oh, come on. Do more than two damage. Ah. Really, he's got three life left. Oh, you don't have any special left. Right. He no. Yes. Special. Heal. We need Lahara alive. Yeah. But it's it's not it's not regular time travel. Like they don't really have a time machine that they go back in time or anything. They have something called the phone microwave, which it starts out they can spend, send text messages to the past, and through that change circumstances and it, it's cool it's it's pretty fun it's also it's also funny it's got some amount of comedy to it which every great movie should have what else am I gonna be watching um my little pony of course because I know how much you guys all love to hear about that <laughs> Harry and Amanda <laughs> uh and I'm actually going to be watching Tiger and Bunny, surprisingly, because I, I kind of like that show now. I, I don't like the CG, the CG animation, because I, li I like CG animation blended with regular animation, because it, it can add to it quite a lot, but Tiger and Bunny just has scenes where it's just CG animation, and I thought, I'm not really going to like that at all, so... Oh, and by the way, we can claim a prize! I'm actually going to... I'm looking for a certain effect on the muscle arm, though, so give me one second. Because you can, you can go back out and go back in and it'll actually change. Or not. Give me like five seconds to see if I can find it. Alright, I'm taking... Oh, can't take him individually. Well, I wanted the I wanted the manager and the arms master because the, the uh, arms master makes you level up your weapon skill faster, so comes in handy. All right, so next time on let's live 
Disgaea with Mio Fu. I'm just gonna save quick. We will follow Flan once more into the icy depth or the icy wastes of the Netherworld. And we'll kick your ass. <laughs> um so I will see you guys next time on Let's Live Disgaea. Um I'm actually going to be recording more today, so this will be uploaded today. Sorry about that, I hit my I hit the mic a little. Um this will be uploaded today, December 16th. And I will probably I'm gonna try to upload Super Mario 64 tonight as well. But it might not happen, so don't hold your breath. So I'll see you guys later, taters. I like that. <laughs> I'll see. You, I'll see you later, taters. <laughs> it's it's just really silly. Um, so I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play or Let's Live Disgaea with Mioxfu. Take it easy.